Orski, who sat on death row for 34 years, executed tonight by electric chair. His last words were, quote, Let's rock. Zagorski was sentenced to death row for a 1984 murder. The last person to die by electrocution in Tennessee was back in 2007. The execution was carried out after a legal battle which spanned a few weeks over Zagorski's decision to use the electric chair. Reporter Adam Snyder from our sister station was there for the execution and has more. The first execution in more than a decade by electrocution here in Tennessee was carried out shortly after the Supreme Court's decision to deny Edmund Zagorski's request for a stay in this case. Witnesses sat in the dark while Zagorski was strapped to the chair, reportedly hearing a bucket with a sponge and saline solution being brought into the execution chamber. When the blinds were raised, witnesses could see Mr. Zagorski strapped to the chair, sponges strapped to his ankles. He was asked if he had any final words, to which he responded, quote, let's rock. Soon after, a sponge and a headpiece was placed on his head, as was a shroud covering his face, and the execution began. All of a sudden, his hands flexed into fists. Um, he stiffened, raised up a little bit during the first jolt, and then relaxed some, but his hands stayed clenched um, with the pinky, the right pinky over the chair rest. He's perfectly still, and then uh, several seconds later, another jolt comes on. He goes even higher, and then uh, the energy cuts off, and we sit there and uh, in stillness and, and watch his fists still clenched with that one pinky uh, off the edge of the chair and uh, sit there for a good long while looking for any signs of life. Both of the victims' families in this case declined to speak to the media, but we're told Mr. Zagorski actually received several messages from his own family today. He was pronounced deceased at 726 Central Standard Time. Reporting from Riverbend Maximum Security Prison, I'm Adam Snyder. All right, Adam, thank you. Now, vigil